editing profiles and creating your own profile. I'm going to go ahead and click edit profiles. What this brings up is our profile pane and where we can edit. I'm going to switch to authoring. If you notice, we have our icon size of 24. If you would just please notice this bar over here, I'm going to adjust from 24 and I'm going to go up. And as you see, that gets much larger. And I'm going to go the opposite direction and obviously it's going to get smaller. Primarily, they say a good um, number to stay at would be a 24. I'm going to come down under Main Toolbox, which is the one we'll be working with. I'm going to select this. And notice my colors. I have a small selection, medium, and then up to 24. This is kind of important over here. It says roll in. If I click this, it's going to roll my third column over here. It's going to roll it back in. I'm going to roll it out. We'll be doing something with that later. Then over here, I'm going to click show. When you use this profile, you're going to go into full screen mode. As you notice, it gets very close to the top and very close to the bottom. No more toolbars or um, taskbars or anything like that. I'm going to go and return this back to normal. What we're going to do next is go to commands. Let's say I want to add a command or a button over here. This is where we can look for it on our left hand side. If I can scroll down and let's just say I want to add the revealer. If I click add as you see now, it's been added to my tools. User-defined buttons. We're going to go ahead and add a button, so it will show up over here on our third column. I'm going to click Add. It's going to ask me for the type. It's a program or a file. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to click Find, and it's similar to attaching a file in a, an email. So what I'm going to do here is click um, desktop because I know where mine is. And what I thought what I have here is my image mate. A lot of you have it in your desktop. I'm going to click open. And then here, what I'm going to do is just type in the name of it. Then I click done. And as you see now over here, once I click that button and my ML is plugged in, I have instant access to ImageMate. So primarily, they're going to put them over here just for ease of access. Now I'm going to go back, Edit, Profiles, Settings. And I'm going to select Tools. A lot of you, when you start your Promethean, you want the Select Tool versus the Pen Tool. So this is where I can go to Tools, and instead of Pen, I'm going to use the Select Tool. So anytime you start a new flip chart, it'll be your Select Tool versus your Pen. I'm going to click Done, and here we are, ready to go. So what I'm going to show you here is how to create your own profile. I'm going to click Edit, Profiles, and I already have one created here. But I'm going to do Authoring. Pops in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click not rolled in. I want to make sure I have my 24 colors. That looks good to me. I'm going to go full screen with this so I have the maximum amount of working space. Under commands, this is where I'm going to maybe put some additional tools onto my toolbar. Like for instance this one, export to Excel. So I can very quickly get my results from my voting. And then my handwriting recognition tool, I think is relatively important. So I'm going to go ahead and add that as we see over here. I've already got my user defined button, but you know what? I want one more. I'm going to click add, program or file. I'm going to say find, my desktop. I'm going to say I want my Firefox or my Internet Explorer browser to open, which is on my desktop. I click Open. Give it a name under Tooltip. 
before I click done, I want to go back over here, make sure under tools, I have my select tool. Before I click done, what I want to do is here is go up and do save pro profile as. And I'm going to call it Colin at the board. I click save. Now it's been saved successfully. Click OK and click done. Go over here, I can click my profile and say, Oh, I want to go Colin at the board. And now here's my profile, here's my Firefox, here's my image made, etc. So that way I can load this up with the tools I will use most often. Say, so Here's my revealer, and I say I'm going to need that for whatever reason quite often. I can go ahead that, add that my um, handwriting recognition, say for um, my language class or whatever I'm teaching.